today's video, we will learn how to find out the prime numbers from 1 to 100 easily. Also, if you want to know some fun facts about prime numbers, wait and watch till the end of this video. Before learning prime numbers, it's important to know some basics of factors. First, 1 is always a factor of any number. Then, every number is a factor of itself and it's the largest factor. So, every number has at least two factors, one and the number itself. Apart from these two, the other factors fall in between these numbers. If you want to know more about factors, there's an interesting video with some lively examples. I've given the link in the description box. Do check it out. Now we'll move on to prime numbers. Prime number is any number that has only two factors, one and the number itself. So prime numbers are not divisible by any other number. And composite numbers are numbers which has more than two factors. All numbers are either prime or composite except for a special number. This number is neither prime nor a composite number and that special number is 1. Do you know why? Number 1 has only one factor and that is 1. So it cannot be a prime number which has two factors nor a composite number which has more than two factors. Now let's learn how to find out the prime numbers from 1 to 100. There's an old and easy method called the sieve of Eratosthenes. Before we get started, we know that 1 is not a prime or a composite number. So remove 1 from the list and start from 2. Mark it as a prime number since it has only two factors which is 1 and 2. Now find out the multiples of 2 which are 4, 6, 8 and so on. Since all these numbers are multiples of 2, they have 2 as one of their extra factor. So, they clearly have more than two factors. For instance, factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. All the other multiples of 2 have more than two factors. So now on the table we mark them as composite numbers. Before proceeding, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to it and don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get regularly updated about my new videos. Next, we consider the succeeding unmarked number which is 3 and mark it as a prime number. Next find out all the multiples of 3 and mark all of them as composite numbers. Okay, so the next number 4 is already marked as a composite. So, we are not going to find out the multiples of 4. Why so? If you look closely, it's already found in the multiples of 2. So, we move on to the next unmarked number and that is 5. Now, 5 will be marked as a prime number and what happens to its multiples? They are marked as composite numbers. The next number 6 is already a composite number. 
So skip it and move on to the next unmarked number. 7. Now mark 7 as a prime number. And its multiples become composite numbers. The following three numbers are already marked as composite numbers. So happily skip them. Before marking 11 as a prime number, we are going to find out 11 into 11 which is 121. This number 121 is larger than the biggest number in our set which is 100. So we can conveniently mark all the other unmarked numbers as prime numbers. Thus you have the entire table marked as either prime or composite numbers. Now it's time to learn some special facts about prime numbers. 2 is the only even prime number which means all the other prime numbers are odd numbers. Similarly, 5 is the only prime number that ends in a 5. The largest prime number found till date has 24862048 digits. Remember, this is not the prime number. It's the number of digits in this prime number. Oops! And how did they find it? There's an entire dedicated organization to find the largest prime numbers because prime numbers are infinite. If you think that this video has helped you find prime numbers easily, do share it with your friends and help them learn maths the amazing way. Thanks for watching.